everyone welcome back to my channel so if you guys can tell by today's title of the video i always feel like i mess up that part title of today's video yeah it's correct right i just i, I think i overthink it you know what i'm saying anyways i got the ColourPop come fly with me collection in the mail which by the way was sent to me in pr but all opinions are mine i just have to let you guys know that i thought it was a really really freaking pretty like collection the packaging is so so nice so i want to do like a review of it and obviously give you guys swatches i'm obviously not going to use every single product but i'm going to try to if that makes sense so you guys already know or if you don't know and are new to my channel i am very thorough or i try to be very thorough with my reviews so i like to give you guys a little bit of information before we start the tutorial now, i am gonna only do one look with this palette because it's a small palette and i just want to do one look if that's okay with you usually a lot of my reviews i like to do multiple looks so you guys can get a feel of the entire palette but today i just want to do one look if that's cool with you guys so yeah let's get into this information really quickly if you guys can hear my dad in the background you guys already know or if you don't know my dad is pretty loud you know what i'm saying it's cool though i feel like i appreciate him in the background now because it's like memories that i have you know i just as the older that i get the more i appreciate a lot of things anyways that's besides the point oh my god that was so corny okay so um the first item that i have is the flutter by press powder palette and the packaging looks like this it's really really pretty it has like these butterflies on it and it has like this kind of glittery um, feel to it it's really really nice so this palette has 12 shadows I am gonna throw up some swatches of it right now it retails for $18 and it is cruelty free I will also throw up the net weight because there is pressed glitters in here as well as just regular matte shadows in this palette so I will make sure I will put the net weight and ounces of this palette on here next up we have the Lux lipstick set it's really really pretty this this one has five lipsticks in them and it retails for $35 and it is also cruelty free. Again, I'm going to throw up some swatches so that you guys can see it. But again, the packaging is the same as the palette. Up next, we have the Fly By Pixie Puff Highlighter. It's really, really big. It looks like this. And then when you open it, it has the little puff on the inside. It's really pretty, I believe. This kind of goes like all over the body or as a highlighter. So this retails for $16. It is cruelty free and the net weight to this one is $12. 0.50 grams 0.44 ounces again it has that beautiful packaging with the butterflies on it next up we have two jelly much shadows i believe that's how they're called yes jelly much shadows yeah and these retail for eight dollars each and they are cruelty free i've actually used these before um they're not my favorite because they feel very like a cream texture but yeah if you guys like that type of like feel and textured um from shadows then you guys will probably like them again it has that really pretty Pretty oops. It fell. I'm so sorry. It has again that packaging with the butterf butterflies on it as well. Okay, moving on, we have four super shock shadows. By the way, I am looking at my notes. I always have notes with me. And these are six dollar each. Again, it has that beautiful butterfly packaging on it. And these are cruelty free as well. Again, I will throw up swatches so that you guys can see them. Alright, you guys, I already have one eye done and I put my hair in a bun. And if I look a tad different, it's because I had to restart my whole entire base all over because my skin was just looking extra crispy and dry i'm so sorry so i already primed my eye with the anastasia eye primer all right you guys i'm going to go into the color angel b now this one doesn't have a lot of fallout at all actually it doesn't have any fallout if you guys can see i'm picking this up on a morphe m506 brush these are like some of my favorite brushes to use because they're very very tiny if you guys can see i'm gonna start putting this in the crease area and i like to do happy motion someone asked me how i don't get any fallout on my eye and i already had like my base you want to do tapping motions because that ensures that the shadow is like stuck like sticking to your base that way you don't get any fallout and then you want to do like light um blending motions and that is the reason why i really like using the morphe m506 brush is because it's a very very small tiny brush and it's very like what is that word i don't know it's like tight you know it's not like a fluffy brush like this like I can't use these brushes in my crease because then like the shadow is just gonna get everywhere so you want to use a tiny brush and use that in your crease area now blending 101 okay and so far these are blending really really nicely like I had no trouble on this side at all and I am going to take this shadow outwards just a tad bit because I am going to cut my crease and then I am bringing this in the inner portion of my eye as well so far 
so good. This is actually my second time using ColourPop's like matte shadows. I've actually never used any of their matte shadows, only their like super shock shadows. Um, I use that Coco Loco. You know how they came out with that like whole entire Coco collection? I used the palette from this collection and it was actually really, really nice. And now that I'm thinking about it, this is such a great palette for like a soft glam look. Also, it's a really nice palette for those that are like beginners and that just like really simple eyeshadow or like everyday makeup looks to work and stuff. This is a really nice palette. Now I'm gonna take this really dark brown right here. This is called Float On and this one has like minimal fallout yeah it's a little dusty not too too much and this one has like like a little bit of shimmer in it and i'm actually gonna use this on the crease to deepen up that crease just a little bit and this is another morphe m506 brush okay, make sure you take that out i don't want to use a lot of this shadow just a little bit and then i'm going to take a brush that has nothing on it well i mean it's a little dirty and just blend out the edges just a little bit and i'm going to take Ch -ch changes that's what the shadow's called and i'm gonna dip into this one this one has a bit of fallout not too too much that t -t 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 to do, 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 do much shadow. This is a Morphe M456 brush, and I am placing this shadow above my crease shadow and blending it outwards to diffuse those shadows. Yes. Thank you so very much. So what's everyone doing for the holidays, y'all? Are you guys going to eat turkey? Actually, turkey's so damn dry. I just I'm over turkey. I don't even eat it. I think my mom, like my mom, every year she makes two turkeys and I'm like, bro, I too, you know what I'm saying? Like, but like, I think she figured out that a lot of us don't eat turkey because like, it's so damn dry. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how much you even season it, no matter how much butter you put in it, like, it's just dry. It's dry. So I don't know. I'm, I'm good. Like, I, I rather eat the ham because I like the ham, you know? What are you going to eat for Thanksgiving? Or do you even celebrate Thanksgiving? If you don't, that's cool. All right, and then I'm going to take Made to Last, which is this shadow right here. And I'm going to take it on the Makeup Shack T82 brush. And this I'm going to use to diffuse all the other colors because you want a really nice gradient and everything. You just want everything to flow, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to use as much colors from the palette as possible. I didn't really want to do like a bunch of looks in one because I just, I just didn't. Like I hope that's cool with you guys. And plus this palette is like really tiny. I was just like, mm, I'll just do one look, you know? Okay, I think that's pretty good. Good. Do people do brow highlight anymore? I feel like they don't. I'm gonna take this sunflower highlight. This is, I mean, the shimmer right here. I'm gonna take that on a little flat brush and it's dry. I didn't wet this. You can if you want, if you want to. I'm gonna put it on my brow bow. Ooh, that is so pretty. Yes. And this is a Morphe M210 brush. And then just blend out this area right here so it doesn't look so crazy oh my gosh can you guys see that that is so pretty okay i'm gonna cut the crease really quick and if you guys hear my stomach i am so sorry it is like growling it won't shut the hell up just shut up you know what i'm saying like it just won't i'm sorry i'm so sorry if you hear it okay so i really want to utilize like every single item of this collection so i'm going to take the color pop um flying circus super shock shadow and then the purple one which is called ringlet let me open them up for you guys so you guys can see i really wanted to use again like every single item in this not every single but like every single part of this i already explained it why do i keep i just i over explain myself and then people get confused i want to use these so this is how they look i am going to take my finger with this and swirl it around and i'm going to take the lightest one it looks dark but it's not it's very it's gonna be very very light you'll see it right now if you guys can see it i'm so sorry if you guys can't but it's a very very light shimmer i don't know the texture of the color pop super shock shadows are like a very weird they almost feel wet but they are very like creamy and just feel weird you know i don't know how else to explain it these shadows do work best when you use your finger because if you guys can see watch and i try to pick them up with my brush i mean it does go on there but like when i try to put it on my lid i have to really like stamp it on or else it won't go on there and it'll move so you just want to stamp this on instead of swiping because it's not it's gonna create like 
it's gonna like crumble so make sure you just like stamp it on there okay with the same brush i'm picking up that really purpley like pinkish type of um, super shock shadow and i am actually placing it right next to the other color remember you want to pat these in instead of swiping okay so now that i have that on i'm going to start taking that darker shadow kind of giving myself like a small wing and then connecting it to that cut crease i'm using the darkest shade this one right here so i started doing a lot of tiktoks which if you want to follow me on tiktok it's rocio seha underscore i'm just saying and they're a lot of fun but dang the comments are on like on there are terrible they're worse than i have I ever gotten like on any other platform and i think it's because a lot of people who are on tiktok they're like 12 years old or like 11 years old and i'm like don't shouldn't you just be like playing outside like when i was that age i used to play outside like nowadays i don't think kids even go outside i, I don't know what they be doing like it's just i don't know i'm like yeah y'all are mean but it is like a really enjoyable platform because you can do so many like really cool like you can edit so many things on there like and create really cool edits of videos if that makes sense so i do enjoy that aspect of it it's just like geez like some people are just like terrible on there you know what i'm saying like come get your kid to darken it up because it doesn't look like it's blended but it is i promise you but i don't want to like use this darker shadow anymore because it's just like a little too dark uh i'll just add like a little bit more okay guys i don't know what happened to the audio of this part i'm so sorry it's my mic but i took one of the jelly much shadows and i wanted to show you guys like the texture of it it's very very creamy um i put this right in my inner corner because again i wanted to utilize every single mostly all of the products in this collection and i put that in the inner corner and if you guys can see it's really intense this is a cream shadow so you do not need to wet it at all it's a cream it's very very intense um and all i needed was like a, a a tiny tiny bit okay now i'm gonna go in with the pixie highlighter i already took off the little thing that was on it and it also comes with one of these this is actually from laura mercy this is not the one that comes in with the color pop it's bigger i don't know where i left it at it's somewhere over there just hanging out so this has it's very very dusty like if you just shake it it's just gonna get everywhere it has like this really peach undertone so i don't know how it's gonna look on my skin tone yeah she's really dusty i'm gonna dust her off and i am going to place her right oh yeah she's very peachy too too peachy for me i could probably use this as a blush she is pretty can you guys see it oh it's so pretty she's just a little too peachy for me you know what i'm saying she's a little dusty too but she made some points i believe this goes on the body too right it's really pretty though it is. Mm hmm. I'm gonna put some on my Cupid's bow. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a little too pink for me, but it's really, really pretty. It is. When I use like really peachy stuff on my skin tone, that makes it look like I got hit and I did it. You know what I'm saying? I did it. Okay, so I haven't put it on my lashes yet. I'll put them on right now. I don't know what lipstick to go with. I really like um, Virgo Moon. Bloom to Bloom seems promising but i don't really want to use that and then which one is this one this is slow dance a little too dark i think i'm just gonna go with virgo moon i don't want anything pink or brown i'll just use this one i'm not gonna use it should i use a lip liner i don't know <laughs> which one should i use i don't want to use anything really really dark because it'll overpower the lipstick maybe i'll use beeper which is not that dark yeah i'll use this one i'm just gonna line my lips really really quickly and i'm gonna put that in the center yeah the lip liner doesn't even match this lipstick but it's all good this really pretty and probably doesn't go with the look actually let's try let's try let's try slow dance it's the darkest one in the collection yeah no no no. come on clover is the darkest one but i don't want to use that one but this is a virgo moon no lip liner this time and i'm just going to put the lipstick straight on again this is slow dance this, like, this really shows how crusty my lips are no 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 but it is a pretty color it's a really pretty color but no all right so let's try oh oasis seems like really really pink though see this is oasis really pink i don't want to put that one on and i don't really want to use a darker lip maybe it would be nice if i use a darker lip should we just try it oh well we're here already oh i think it got stuck okay these go on so smooth but my lips are so dry how about this one? Ooh, this is actually really pretty should i keep this one i actually really like this one wow okay let me fix this and i'll come back all right you guys i went and put some lashes on these are my colored rain in the style glamazon you guys can use my code rocio for 20 percent off or 10 percent off i don't know it's one of those two now my final thoughts on this collection i rated a 
9 out of 10. I actually really like the whole little concept of it and like the packaging. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing, like the butterflies and all that and like the glitter. It's just really, really cute. Start off with the palette. I really, really like the palette. If you're someone who does like everyday makeup looks, very simple. You don't want any color. This is definitely a palette for you. You would really like it. I had absolutely no issues with the shadows. They were pigmented. They blended out really nicely. There was no patchiness, no dryness. They stuck to my base. Shimmers were really, really nice. I really like that shimmer on my brow bone. It was really, really like intense without having to wet my brush. And that says a lot about a shimmer. I had a bit of fallout. So if you're not a fan of fallout, then I mean, I guess that's like a con of it. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like too, too bad, you know, where it was like dust everywhere. Moving on to the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Now, the thing I will say about this is that you definitely need to use your finger. I feel like when you use a brush, like it's really, really hard to pick it up with a flat brush you have to use like a synthetic brush don't try to use like those like, hair brushes it won't like it will not pick up like the shadow because of like the texture of it you definitely have to use packing motions because if you swipe the shadow will like crumble so that's the only thing that I don't really like about these they're not necessarily like my favorite type of like um, formula now the jelly much shadows which was like the cream shadows like, these are not my favorite formula either I mean don't get me wrong she made some points in the inner corner I was like wow i was kind of like taken back because at first i was like mm, i don't know about these shadows i have used these type of shadows before or this type of formula and it wasn't like my favorite i guess i have to get used to like this formula don't get me wrong it's really intense as you guys can see the inner corner but i wouldn't reach for this formula if that makes sense okay the pixie puff highlighter i like the finish of it like i like the formula i would just like it in like a different color this was too peachy on my skin tone it sometimes looks like i got like punched or something or like a bruise and like I don't really like that I think this goes better as like a blush or over the like the collarbone what is this called the dick tone I don't know how you say it I'm sorry but this will be really nice like all over the body like for summer and stuff it is really nice I do like the consistency it is a little dusty it gets everywhere so just like know that but overall she's really really cute and I do like her as but not least lipsticks I really do like the lipsticks I like the formula of the lipsticks they're very velvety they don't feel too matte nor too creamy so I really like that the only thing that I will say about these is that i have like trouble like um like see how it just won't go up i have to like really like make it go up i don't know what it is about that hopefully like color pop you fix this because outer part of the lipstick kind of scraped all over the inside of the lipstick you guys probably can't see it but that's the only thing other than that i really really like the formula and the packaging is really really nice and i really like this dark lipstick on me like you guys know i'm very like a nude type of person because it like nudes go with everything but this is is really nice it does enhance the fact that i have really crusty lips but she's cute so yeah overall i really do like this um whole little collection it's really beautiful and it's really nice and it's quality and it's pretty affordable so shout out to ColourPop for that and every single thing that i use will be linked in the description down below this collection is already available if you guys want to purchase it i love you guys so very much thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys